Hello friends, my name is Katherine DePiro. I'm the Development and Communications Associate at Uplift Center for Grieving Children in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Since I started quarantining, I've been making fabric face masks for family, friends, and essential workers. Whether they're used to extend the life of a respirator or to cover your face while you're out and about, fabric face masks are a practical and easy line of defense against not only COVID-19, but also the common cold, the flu, and dusty air. I designed a simple face mask, and I'm going to show you how to sew it for yourself, your family and friends, and essential workers in your community. This mask allows you to insert a filter, either store-bought or fashioned at home, from a tea towel, paper towel, or coffee filter. To make this mask, you will need a 9 by 15 inch piece of fabric. I recommend 100% cotton in a tight weave, like quilter's cotton. Remember to pre-wash your fabric before you cut it. This will ensure that your mask doesn't shrink in the wash. You'll also need a sharp pair of scissors, sewing thread, a marking pencil or pen and ruler, sewing pins or clips, and a drawstring that's at least 45 inches. You may use a shoelace, beading cord, a ribbon, or a fabric drawstring. For my mask, I've sewn a simple drawstring. You'll also need the following tools to help with constructing the mask. An ironing board and an iron to press your mask, a pair of tweezers to thread your drawstring, and a chopstick or pencil to turn the mask. I make my masks on a sewing machine using a basic straight stitch, but this tutorial is simple enough that you could also sew the mask by hand. It'll just take a little extra time. Step one, take your fabric and fold it in half lengthwise with the right sides of the fabric together. Step two, place the ruler along the short end of the fabric and make a mark on the three inch line and the six inch line. Step 3. Stitch with a half inch seam allowance, making sure you lock your stitches by back stitching at the beginning and end of each row. Stitch from the edge to the 3 inch mark and lock your stitches. Break your thread, then stitch from the 6 inch mark to the opposite edge. Snip your thread once you're finished. Step 4. Fold the mask so the seam is half an inch from the top. Press the seam open and flat. You should have a three inch opening at the top of your mask. Step five, sew the sides of the mask closed at a quarter inch seam allowance, making sure you lock your stitches at the beginning and end of each row. Sniff the corners with your scissor. Step six, turn the mask right side out through the opening you created at the beginning. To knead in your mask, use your chopstick to shape the corners, then iron until the mask is dry. Step 7. Now let's make channels for your drawstring. Turn your mask so that the 3 inch opening is facing you. This is the back side of your mask. Fold the edges of your mask one inch in toward the center of your mask, then press with an iron. Pin in place. Step 8. Sew a quarter inch seam from the point where the fabric overlaps. Make sure to lock the thread by back stitching at the beginning and end of each row. Repeat on the other side of your mask. Step 9. To finish your mask, thread the drawstring. I recommend using tweezers to help guide the ribbon, cord, or shoelace through. Your finished mask will have a loop at the top of the mask and two ties at the bottom. Now you're ready to wear your mask. Pull the loop at the top of the mask until it fits to your head, then use the two ties to tie your mask around your neck. Avoid touching the front of the mask. To remove the mask, loosen the ties and pull the mask away using the loop at the top. Congratulations on making your fabric face mask! I hope you share this tutorial with your friends, family, and essential workers in your neighborhood. For more tips, videos, and resources for caring for yourself and loved ones during the COVID-19 pandemic, please visit upliftphilly.org. Thank you.